and welcome back to gold rush rp so today we have a very exciting episode ahead of us and we're not going to be doing any boring stuff at the beginning we are going to get right into the action right into it we're not going to be going and just running around talking to people selling stuff buying stuff we're going to go right into the action head over to mexico and uh, try and figure this out but first of all we need to get uh ready for it so I believe what I'm going to do is bring over, not the uh, Springfield, but what we are going to bring over is, I think, my Bad Navy and my Pump Shotgun. That's what we're going to bring over. We're going to bring over some extra ammo as well. We may run into some fights. Again, I'm not sure what this mission entails. We may run into uh, having to fight NPCs or something. Uh, the other thing is, I'm not sure how many lockpicks we should bring. I have 10 of them. This is about 10. It said in the mission when we actually tried to do it the first time, uh, make sure to bring lockpicks. And I'm guessing lockpicks means plural lockpicks. So, uh, and also I've never done any of the mini games on the server whatsoever. So we might suck at them. And again, these were only $10 each. So what I think is we might just bring all 10 over. Now I'm a little worried about what's going to happen at the border crossing. Um, now, the last four or five or maybe even six times we've gone into mexico we have gotten no guards although we've wanted guards there and we've wanted to see people in mexico but now that we don't want to see anyone i guarantee we do but anyways we're going to bring 10 of these hopefully we can get it through the border and we don't run into any issues uh again we should in this episode also be finding a different way in and out of mexico because i believe that's what we're going to be paying for partially so we should hopefully be able to get out once we get in it's just getting in is obviously is the rough part uh we are going to bring extra bandages we'll bring five we're going to heal up pre before just in case make sure we are good on food we have two pulled pork uh two gator gumbo we have a clean flask full with 10 we have five milk let's grab some more apples just in case we're also are not bringing moo we're going to bring that hungarian just because I don't know what's going to happen in Mexico, so we're just going to stick with that one. We're going to bring our lasso just in case as well. Um, so only thing is it said it was in a cave, so we might need this electric lamp. Uh, we're going to bring it as well. I think it's quite expensive, though, so I kind of don't want to lose that. But we might as well come fully prepared if we are going to be going into Mexico. Uh, and I think this should be good. Just because I'm paranoid, we're actually going to bring seven ammo boxes. Make sure we're over prepared. Uh, anything else? I think. I think we should be all good last off let's just just in case we're gonna make some reserve food as well let's just go craft up like five of this cooked meat and uh then we should be good let's go do that real quick all righty here we go let's quickly cook up this five venison just so we have a little bit of extra cooked venison just in case we need it and now let's go grab out our money and we should be all set to head over into mexico so let's grab that real quick now again we only have 578 dollars so we are not exactly gonna have a ton of money on us now we're gonna need about 20 dollars for the border patrol and then 250 for the information another 50 to get in the room so that brings us up to 320 so we're gonna bring 375 dollars or i guess 400 dollars total this is uh double what's in our bank at the moment so hopefully hopefully we actually make some money from this as well i'm not sure exactly what this whole entire thing entails but hopefully we can also make some money all right so we have our shotgun fully loaded Make sure our pistol's loaded up. Again, this is not our fancy one. We're just going to bring our backup just in case we need it. Um, we are going to go to the border. We're going to heal up before we go in. And uh, then we're going to see what happens again today. We hopefully will be doing uh, finding out this secret Mexico mission and uh, what exactly entails. So without further ado, let's uh, not have too much filler in the beginning of the episode. Let's just go straight for it, right into the action. And I'll meet you guys once we are at the border. And again, trying to figure out the secret recovery mission. All righty, we are just about at the border. So we're going to get off our horse. We're going to quickly use one of these herbal bandages, fully heal up, just in case, again, we run into anything. Now, again, the last couple times, as I said before, we've came here. We have not ran into any guards or anyone in general. So let's hope we get that same luck. Although now that we want no one to be there, there's probably going to be people there. And the last couple times we wanted people to be there. There was no one there, but okay i am not gonna lie i have been uh not very been this nervous in a while on red dead but again getting into something new with all this stuff over the border it's always a little bit stressful but let's head over there for some reason when you got into the bridge your horse acts a little weird but let's hope there's no guards over here please all righty and there's no sign so that's a good sign that means no mexican border guards have been around today so far hopefully so okay 
first pass, we, we first, first big hurdle. We got across, no problems. Whew, okay, that was definitely, okay, let's just go right into a tree. That was definitely a little stressful, not gonna lie. A little stress there, thought. Whew, okay, we're good, we're good. Now, the next part is uh, heading to the fort and hopefully having no one there as well as a lot of stuff at the fort we're going to want to do when no one's there because we don't want anyone to see what we're actually doing so that's the next stressful part so uh, let's over, head over there and hopefully we're going to be two for two on our luck today Whew, let's uh let's go do it and we are at the fort please be no one here okay okay we're good we're good it's empty okay 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 so far so good today so far so good we got past the bridge we got to the fort with no issues and now whew, now here comes the stressful part or i guess i guess that was mostly that was the biggest stress but now i have no idea how the mini games work i have no idea how this mission is going to work so let's talk to this guy again uh let's go actually we didn't ask him who he is before let's see who he is uh okay okay i don't know okay you mean i don't know uh, again don't speak spanish my name is hector uh uh trabajo traveled to mexico maybe uh there's an error immediately uh i'm not sure novamos okay let's just do what we did last time take my coin let's get in here so that's 50 bucks and now again we should be able to if i remember correctly get the information about the tunnel for $250. So that's gonna be part one of this mission. Number two is to actually get the import mission, or no, the capital 11 mission, the recovery mission, and then I think we should be good. So let's get the information about the tunnel first. So boom. Oh boy. Uh, wait, let me make sure screenshot that. So we got some coordinates. Um, see if we can find out where it is. 20 minutes later. All right, so I've spent about 10, 15 minutes trying to figure out how to figure out these cords, but there's literally no coordinates on the map, so I, it's just very frustrating. And I don't think any tool will like give us coordinates on the map, so I just have no idea how we are supposed to figure out what these coordinates mean. So it's it's a little frustrating. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying to figure it out. Uh, hopefully we can. I guess we'll see though but i have no idea how we're supposed to figure out like any of the coordinates because if we like hover over the map or anything like this it doesn't show us coordinates on the map so i'm trying to figure out how the heck we're supposed to use these coordinates but i'm gonna keep trying to figure it out and i'll hopefully see you guys in a little bit oh crap all right i think i just saw someone outside so the plan is take the shotgun out get the hell out of here try and figure out these coordinates safely horse is injured oh no here we go here we go well you just killed my goddamn horse senor you know you are currently trespassing in mexico what are you doing huh oh. little gringo you uh fucking no snooping listen there was no one at the border well, I have the money for no it. There's no one at the house, house, right? There's no one. Is there no one at the door of that house? Do you just let yourself into their house? I was told it's fine to go up here. I no, didn't realize you were a guard. That's my bad. Who That's my bad. That's my bad. You, That's my bad. fucking told you? Uh, one of the guards last time. They said, uh, come here if there's no one at the border and I could pay here. But there was no one here. All right. So then what are you doing, huh? You come out of the little room there and you spoke to I'm Arita, just exploring. Huh? I'm just exploring. I haven't been no, over you're here. Not. Tell me the truth, amigo. I'm... You're a fucking little dirty drug smuggler, no? I am not. You can check me. I don't have any drugs on me. Well, amigo, one way or another, I'm going to get the information out of you, oh, okay? Shit. Oh, shit. Right, you wait here while I go get my tools. Listen, sir. Sir, I didn't know you were a guard. You scared the shit out of me. <sighs> I forgot that there's no fear RP, so if you have a gun pointed right, at his face of a shotgun, they can... Machete, rusty knife. Listen, sir, listen, I don't handle well with pain. I'll, I'll give you any information oh, you want. Amigos. Oh, shit, what happened to him, huh? He smashed his face into a wall. Damn I've it. been looking for you, Caesar. Oh, amigo, we got a little trespasser in the doctor's office. <sighs> well, we're gonna see if we can uh, talk our way out of this. I don't know. But... I'm just getting my tools we'll ready. We'll see. You know? We'll see. He's in uh, the next room down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Howdy. Wow. Now, I, I believe oh, this is a big wow. misunderstanding here. Oh, hold up. I know you, fella. 
Oh, we talked once or twice, I think. Are you one of the ones who told me I could come here if there wasn't anyone at the border? Please tell me you are. Oh, God, no, I'd never say oh, such a my. thing. All right, let's see what you If anyone told you you could come here if no one's at the border, oh, they really cool. fucked you. Yeah. Was, it, was this the mm -hmm. fella that had the, the thing he was talking about? Oh, no. Oh, I mean, well, why have you got a large amount of lockpicks on you? Oh, that was from earlier. I was in Blackwater. What are you a little, uh, little theft? Well, uh, uh, a thief? No, no, not from the common man. No. Well, I wouldn't call myself a common man. Well, I mean, I don't steal from people. I steal from, you know. Oh, so the people you steal from ain't people anymore. Is that so, it? Wait, you well, a from... bank ain't a, you know. Holy shit, amigo. A hundred bucks? What the fuck? Ah, <sighs> shit. Wow. You must have some big cojones. Uh, listen, you gotta like, tip uh, the guards here, you know? What are you like? But you, you did, American so how much you gonna tip us? Uh, 30. <laughs> oh. I ain't got money. I have $200 in my bank, okay? <laughs> we, we got, oh, we got 30 bucks, got huh? 30 fucking bucks for trespassing yeah, in my fucking yeah, palace, huh? Uh, I don't know. I was just saying, I was just told to come here to pay if there was no one there. Caesar, what the fuck was this guy doing? He was uh, speaking to Hector or anything? Oh. Yo, why is there a dead horse? Oh, that's his horse. I mean, oh. that is good thing we didn't bring Moo, because then Moo would be dead right now. talking to Hector. Hey. Oh, okay, amigo, I'm gonna power. pick you up and you're gonna sit in that chair, okay? Okay. okay. You make sure to uh, someone, uh, firearm, see? Someone take his firearm belt first. No, someone take his weapon yeah, belt. still got his weapons. See, okay, he doesn't have any long Dude, we should have just shot him. We had a shotgun at his face. He, he just pulls out a lasso right? and lassos us. That's kind of frustrating. Uh, okay, amigo. All right, gringo, I'm get in, in that chair. chair. Oh, shit. Oh, oh boy. Okay, amigo, what's your name? I'm Zaveel. What, you, what is your business? Huh? What do you do for work? Oh, uh, honestly, a little bit of everything. I did tobacco farming for a while, but I kind of, yeah, my, my, it wasn't, yeah, fun. Uh, then I did a little bit of gem mining over in Guarma. That made me a little bit of money. Uh, did a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Nothing, nothing too interesting. Well, Trying to start an alcohol import business. I'm gonna take your fucking nutsack off. Give me what? specifics. Okay, okay. I worked in Tumbleweed. Uh, we we started making a town over there. That oh, went to that's shit. What? I've seen him oh. there. I've seen him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, did that shit didn't go well. Okay. Uh, yeah. I did gem mining. I did tobacco for a uh, Black Russian Tobacco Company, I believe. Uh, I did farming a little bit for here and there. Uh, wait, I helped wait, Frankie wait, the wait, Gunsmith wait. a little bit a while ago. Roll back, roll back. This. You, you work for Black Russian? Uh, no, not anymore. I worked for them for a small period. Because, okay. uh, a long oh, time exactly. ago. Sorry. Like, what, Freya? Uh, no, no, no. This is a long, uh, Mikhail. Oh, okay. It's the old owner. Fuck that guy. Wait, well, he, yeah. He, uh, we used to start a town in Tumbleweed. A long, long, mm -hmm. before the last town, there was another town. And he was running that. The, uh, was a New Austin Workers Union. Uh, we ran that for a while, then he kind of ditched us to go run his tobacco industry and that kind of went to shit. Money scam in history. Yeah, that was the biggest scam in history. Hey, and then we tried like to you, uh, you make some people. Follow people. Uh, I've been, yeah, I'm a traveler. What, uh, why did you come to my country? Oh, uh, to be honest, I, I just wanted to explore. Uh, I was told that there was some gem stuff over here and mm. some jewelry crafting, so I was talking over there trying to figure that out, and then I was just okay. exploring a bit. Talked to a so, nice man up there as well. Do you explore what are you often about? with lockpicks? Uh, sometimes. Hmm. So what did you talk about with Hector? Oh, uh, well, I talked to him a bit. He put me in the room, and I just looked around the room for a little bit. And not too much. So why the lockpicks, amigo? Because uh, clearly yeah, you're strange. robbing a shop or something. Black not many people. How many lockpicks do you have? <laughs> ten. 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 Not many people travel with ten lockpicks. Trust me, I've checked enough people. I, mean, I, I was told to bring lockpicks over. I'm not sure for what, but that's what I was Who told. Who told you? Uh, I don't really remember. I just remember when I came over the border, I was talking to a fella in Armadillo. It was about a week ago. Um. Alright, fuck this, amigo. I'm getting the scissors. Listen, listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'll give you a full story. Full story. Full story. Full story. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I'll be completely honest. I came down here. I talked to Hector. He told me to bring some lockpicks. I brought some lockpicks. There you go. So Hector told you this. Hmm. So you lied to us at first. Uh, well, I'm a little Armadillo. scared right now. I almost peed oh, my pants. Oh, so you're scared and you're choosing to lie to the people he's scared of. Is that it? Okay, okay. Here on out, full truth. Nothing but the truth, okay? You said I that hope about so. five times already. Okay, starting now. 
We'll wait till uh, our friend gets back with the scissors. And Listen, any question, any question you have, I'll no, answer right now. Oh, any no. question. Wait, friend, Fibbers. Fibbers and Okay, so you got, you got 10 lockpicks, right? Yes. And uh, obviously, you say Hector told you this. This. What 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 did you think you were gonna get out of it? Wait, I have like no you're idea. Break into something. I have no idea. He asked me to recover something, so I was trying to help him out. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you say that, but you already lied to us twice. I did. I did, and I, I apologize for that. It's just a little shooken up. Chris, if you say you're a traveler, yes. where uh, where do you most commonly lay your hat? Uh, strawberry. You can oh. ask anyone there. I mean, fucking you, uh, natives around. Yeah, you're friend with those natives. I am here and there. Do you know I the do last business. native to sit in that chair? Who it was? Mmm. Yes, I believe I know him. Big old Jeppy, yeah. I'm sure you know yes, who he is. Oh, uh, I think I know. No. when he when he says him, I think. I mean, Dusty. He, yeah, you want to see his nuts? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we got him around here somewhere. Yeah, we got his nuts somewhere around here. Sing, but that's where Jeppy lost a bit of her hair. I think. Yeah. She, she didn't lose her nuts. Eyeball out. She didn't no. have any nuts. Oh, but... Yeah, so. I mean, what do you think? He's a lot of bullshit coming out of his mouth. Or... I don't know if he's tripping himself up about five times already. Oh. You know? Okay, all right. This I did lie okay. about saying who told me about it. It was him, Hector, not someone in Armadillo. But the rest of it was truth. Uh, you can check with anyone. I, I told you the truth on oh, everything else. That sounds like you're trying to get my amigos in trouble, you know? People in New Austin, they, uh, they love mm. us over here. Oh, like, I don't talk to the law. Like no, that. I don't talk to the law didn't say Lorna to me though. Oh, well, I don't rat on people. You just, you just rat it on Hector. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, he lives here. It is. Oh, I thought you didn't rat on people though, is he not a person being? Oh, well, he is, he oh, lives here though. Mexican. I figure you talk to Hector, he lives here. Yeah. Oh, just he's just like he lives a llama. Here. He's just like a llama down there. Just like the so Lorna. don't think we're human. Oh, do you think we're dogs, fella? People. No. What he's saying since he lives down here, he ain't a person. Well, we what? live down here. I did not say that. I said since I he lives down here, I figured y'all would have okay. talked to him. So it seems like you guys are pretty fucked up here. I'm not gonna lie. So I, I don't know what I'm, I'm trying to be on. Listen, Mr. Yeah. Okay, sorry, sir. I'm gonna give you one chance here, amigo. You're gonna offer me something uh, that you don't normally offer people for your, shall we say, uh, your freedom, because uh, currently, right now, your crimes are, you know, he's attempted murder on myself, you know, I am the major of the army, and you tried to attack me. Uh, currently trespassing as well, which currently carries a $500 fine. You tried to attack my major? I mean, we did. He I was, uh, yeah, that was my bad. Like a bat out of hell, you know. He, he I heard my, I saw my horse kill. Knife my and tried to stab me, and, you know, I had to use I, my heroic strength to throw him off the ground and tie him up. That is true, he threw me across major. the whole courtyard. Holy well, shit, fella. Like he's a Why very strong guy. With that? <laughs> so what so, What would... What? Because I'm going to be honest. I'll be completely honest. I have $200 in my bank. So what What, what would the uh, peas are fancy? What, do you what information do you got? Like about... uh, Like you say you're a traveler. Wait, there what information people... are you looking for? I know quite a bit. You hear many people talking about, about Mexicans? Uh, no. I do know where the black market is, if that helps at all. No. Okay. Um... I know where to process a uh, swamp herb and a secret location. <laughs> I'm guessing, yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 amigo, that's amigo, amigo, we fucking, we, pro we process cocaine and opium, amigo. We okay, so y'all know where to process herb. bricks, I'm guessing, already? Yeah. Um, what information are you looking for? Okay, here we go, right? Uh, tell you what, there's nothing more than I love than killing lore men and uh, trespassers right now. I like to use my cannons to blow them up. I like to chop parts of them off and hang them on my wall. I like to fucking drag them across the desert from the back of my horse. How can you assist me in this? Huh? What what can you give me a new technique, perhaps? Or are you know? friends with Dusty? Oh, uh, which Dusty? No, not Dusty. Lesticles. Well, uh, I know him all right. I know him all right. No, I wouldn't say super right. close, but I know him decently. No. Yeah, he's not really a type of guy who likes too many people anyway. Yeah, he's a little, a little grumpy. Maybe he'd like you more if I sent you back with no nuts. No momento, I have uh, prepared some medical supplies. Uh, Maria is gonna give us some coca so we can fucking uh, shove it up his nose, and I think we can let Rico. Supplies in here, I think. Oh, really? Well, if we got some painkillers, amigo, fucking. Oh, oh we, we, I do. Uh, what do you say? We definitely got a lot of drugs. Oh shit. Check. This yeah, is, this might end bad. Medical. Yeah, medicine. medicine. Yeah, yeah, medicine. 
What do you say, Michael? Um, I have bought some ammo in the past. I'm not sure if y'all are interested in that. Uh, oh, some specialty ammo. What? Some specialty ammo. Like what? Some slugs, some high velocity and such. Uh, that's what only thing I have of Wharf at the moment. That's been pretty scarce the last while. We I buy a while. I have about uh, 10 boxes, I think. About 10 of slugs and 10 high velocity for the repeater. I'm not sure. Do you make it? No, I bought this a while ago. I just don't really get into shootouts. Oh, okay. What do you buy it off? Uh, I buy it off of a fucking man named, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> Hector. No. <laughs> uh, listen, listen. I'm very Does bad at names. Does he Armadillo too? No, no, no. No, I mean, he lives in Blackwater. <laughs> no, he was in Rhodes. But oh. I don't I bought Wait, this shit a long that? time ago. I don't really know. Who. Is it a gun store owner? Uh, I don't believe so. No. Gypsy lost. I. Uh, what he look like? I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Is the only thing. What he look like? We well, fellow. We yeah, sure you know what he looks like. You don't know. I mean, he just he just looked normal. He didn't really look any crazy. Kind of looked like okay. you behind me a little bit, but with a different hat. Oh, so we don't look normal in front of you? Well, Bro, okay, okay. You listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I mean, nothing that stands out. And this was this was a while ago, so okay. I, I don't really remember too much to okay. be honest. That's fine. Oh. That's fine. Well, thank you. You saying I'm the only unique one in the room? I no. Appreciate that. <sighs> I just need to shut my mouth. I think I apologize. You know, before well, I ask uh, me a question, before I spend a lot of time here in Mexico, um... but I could bring you that ten of each. If that will help with anything. Uh, the last man we told to do that, he fucked up yeah. to his little house and then he sat there crying mm -hmm. like a bitch. Yeah. Uh, you and you give me an hour, problem. I will be right back here immediately. I promise you. Is he, people you do I, business with. People you do business with. We've had, we've had, had a person come across here before about ammo. Um, and this, this guy said that he was the one who makes ammo. Okay. And he did not come back when he was supposed to. Do you know Mr. Turner? Uh, I've heard of him. I think I did some tobacco with him in the in the while ago, but not for a while. Okay, well, if you're anything like Mr. Turner and you lie about bringing back ammo, uh, I <laughs> guarantee you wait here. I will be here within as fast as I can. I'm gonna go Blackwater, come back here as fast as I can. Hmm. All right, let me go. It's okay. Should we flip a coin to believe him and then flip a coin for his You bounty? can come with me if that would help. Before you do this, before you do this, I want to ask him one thing. Yeah. You know people you do business with? Please. Do you uh, get names of these? Uh, which which business, sorry? Any kind of business. Come on, it's foolish to, you know, do uh, business without getting someone's name at least. Well, like uh, the tumbleweed stuff? Because I know everyone there. No, no, no. Guarma, you said you uh, work business with them. I oh, uh, Captain Drake, I believe. And one other, I think. Is it true he doesn't take no for an answer? I have no idea. He was friendly to me, though. He gave me a tour. This one other, what is his name? Sorry? Or her name. What is this other person's name besides Capitan Drake? Uh, Frenchy. Frenchy. French, oh. okay. What well, is I just talked to him days? about horse breeding. It wasn't really anything too much. Cause he's a trainer. He's not a breeder, though. But you ever see any actual Gorman guards? Not the fucking pirate. Mm, no, there's mostly a lot of pirates over there. Mm, okay. I don't know. From from my experience, they all seem quite friendly, though. Right. Debatable. But it, it. <laughs> I've never. To be fair, I, that Captain Drake. He's never actually tried anything. It's normally the fucking oh, I mean, the fucking guards. He uh, he got someone to deliver like some rum a couple of days ago. I forgot to tell mm -hmm. you about that. Huh. Uh, I pissed in them instead. Oh, oh. Yeah. You want, uh, Mr. Civil, you want some rum? I mean, yeah. I'm not in the he situation to be asking for anything, but I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> also, if one of y'all want to ride over with me, I'm perfectly fine with that as well. Uh. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. You're calling the shots now. Sure thing. Oh, no, I just, I just don't, I, and it, <laughs> shit, listen, anything that makes you guys feel comfortable, I, I don't know, I, I don't know what else I can tell you besides oh, I'll ride there and ride back, back thank here. Thank you. I, I feel really uncomfortable in my own home. I appreciate oh, that, I was, you know, you're watching out for me. I apologize. Come on, we, these guys, come on, we have to. For what? He's just looking out for me, friend. That's Please. all. Well, again, I'm a man of my word. That's all I can say. Well, that's why he lied to us two times in a row. When I make a deal, I'm a man of my word. <laughs> I don't go back that's on deals.
when a rat's back to the corner, friend, right, so whatever we were to let you go, you would, you would bring us back the ammunition? Exactly. How much you pay this? How much you buy this ammunition for? Uh, like all my money? I think the rat or the repeater was, I think, 100 each or 120. And then the slugs were, I think, 80 or 90. Per box? Be it, be it, be it. Oh, fuck. How much for these slugs? Uh, I think 80 or 90. I was going to try and resell them, but no one really needs them at the moment, it seems. Hmm. Or at least for any price that I'd make profit with, then one wants to buy it for. Wait, someone has sold you that box for 90 bucks. The, well, box. 90 each for the slugs. It was either 80 or 90. I think it might have given me a discount for the amount of bot, but... Okay, this is interesting. Wow. I think when I was a lawman, I was getting maybe a, a box of slugs for at most 40 or 50 bucks. Holy. Is that why no one's trying to buy mine for 110? <laughs> I believe so. I was trying to sell them for literally like two weeks and no one wants to buy them. Yeah. I, I reckon whoever sold you that just done what she did you. Little yeah. bit. All right, mi amigos, we will let's for this man back to the border, and uh, I will be back here in 40, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Hmm. Oh, again, you're dictating it, huh? What? Okay, I'll be back just, here as fast as I can. Yeah, just so you know, Mister uh, <coughs> Seville, if you lie to us, um, it won't be too long before you're caught and brought back to Mexico. Exactly. That's why I'm not lying. I'll be right back. Muy bien. Very good. Okay, I like this, amigo. Look, you're uh, saving your own skin here from a life sentence and sitting in a cell with fucking dusty worker weights out there, you know? <laughs> I'm trying my what? best. Four and again, now. I do want to be... I, I know I didn't exactly do the best thing over here, but uh, I do have respect for all y'all, just so you know. All right, okay, get out the chair. And then we'll take you back to the bridge. Alrighty. Oh, I have something for you, though, friend. Ah, okay, Why I deserve that. Kill my <laughs> damn captain, you son of a bitch. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Oh, we're getting out of this shit. Uh, uh, we talked our way out of it. We talked our way out of it. We're walking out alive. Whew. Whew. We're going to lose about $2,000 worth of product, but uh, money can't really buy us a new life, so. Or a new testicle. Yeah, so. I'll see you guys hopefully when we're. I guess we'll see what happens. Bye. I'm giving him a little gift. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. But that we've been more than generous yeah. today with you, Senor. Yes, I really okay. appreciate I'll it. I'll get him out of these cuffs and I'll pass him his weapons back. And I will see y'all very shortly. I am going to have to run, so it might be a little bit, but yeah. I will be back here. Actually, Seville, how lucky are you today right now? Mm, <laughs> not very lucky after this. Why? No, well, pick heads or tails. Oh shit, heads. Okay. Oh, oh, you. Okay. Okay. You only have to bring half of us what you said. Oh my, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, okay. now get the fuck out of my car. Yes, country. sir. Yes, sir. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, Woo. we're alive. We are alive. Okay, we uh, we need some more preparation for the next time we do this. Uh, we're gonna need to bring some people with us, and we're gonna have to do it. Probably, we're gonna have to probably just fight through everyone. I think, I think that might be it. Oh, they didn't even take our lock picks. Oh, they left us a human skull. Okay, that's a little disconcerting. They actually didn't take any of our stuff. Okay, that was actually. To be honest, I think that went as well as it could have gone. Uh, of course, after getting... I mean, our horse got shot, so that, that kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, that that went decently well. Uh, I mean, obviously, we lived with our life and all of our body parts intact. So that is definitely a positive. 
Um, we also got the coordinates, uh, which I'm going to probably hide so it doesn't get metagamed, uh, for a secret location to get in and out of Mexico. Although, I don't know how the heck we're supposed to use those coordinates in any way. Maybe we can buy something from the general store that will help us. I'm not really too sure. But again, we're going to stay true to our word. Uh, we didn't let it slip that we're an ammo dealer as well, because that could have gone really bad. We made sure not to tell them we work for Turner, anything like that. Uh, we told them we just bought the ammo a long, long time ago, and we're finally just being able to, you know, we've been trying to resell it, whatever. We told them a really BS story, and thankfully we we're able to talk our way out of that scenario because that could have gone horribly horribly bad but thankfully good old zaveel can do a little bit of quick talk in here and there um of course we had to uh give up some information but none of that information really mattered and most of the information we gave up was not really true but obviously there's no way for them to figure that out so let's go get our horse probably and uh, go deliver them the ammo. We're going to stay true to our word. Maybe even, you know, start being a little friendlier with them. Try and set up some interesting deals in the future, possibly. I guess we will see. But uh, we're going to have to run all the way to Blackwater since I believe they killed our horse, uh, which was very unfortunate. But somehow we got out of that whole thing alive and with all of our stuff. Not sure how that happened, but I'm not going to complain. Let's head back over to Blackwater and I'll see you guys when we're there. So let's grab Moo the third, finally rideable and should be fully trained. Correct. Nice. So five years of age. This one should last us a long time. And again, we are going to buy saddlebags and the, and the everything for it. We're going to buy the blanket, obviously, saddlebags, uh, a nice saddle. But obviously, we are broke at the moment. Uh, so let's head over to the bank. Again, we're going to stay true to our word just because we don't want to ruin basically everything in Mexico. And of course, if we don't bring them this stuff, they're probably going to hunt us down. But thankfully, we did like that little coin flip thing. And he says we only have to bring them half of what they said. So we're going to grab, again, five slugs and five high velocity repeater, which honestly is around $1,000 we're losing. Using. so again it could be worse it is what it is uh so let's grab five of that and then five slugs we do have quite a bit um but honestly the next couple of videos we are just gonna have to make money because we are at that point where we are completely broke and especially after this little trip and it not really helping us out too much as we were supposed to do the whole mission and then hopefully get paid some good money for it obviously that didn't work out um but again Thankfully, we were able to just lie our ass off, get out of there. I mean, we did tell them some true stuff, obviously. We weren't completely false. Good thing they don't know that we're actually an ammo dealer. That was like the most secretive thing I didn't want to get out. Or, of course, who manufactured the ammo. We didn't let any actual secret slip. We kept everything pretty, pretty on type. We didn't give them any information that would actually help them. I think we told them, like, who lives in Guarma, like two people, which are literally the two people that greet you every single time. So we didn't really give them any info that they didn't already have. We just acted like we were. But thankfully, everything went well. Now we're going to go back to the border give them their ammo and uh, hopefully be on a little bit better terms with them after this whole thing. Again, I guess everything could have gone a lot worse. Again, we pulled our shotgun on that one guy. Thankfully, we didn't shoot him because if we did, obviously there was no way we were getting out of there as there was four other guards. Good thing we didn't shoot him. Uh, a little crazy though. They can just grab a lasso out that fast and lasso you, but it is what it is. Uh, good thing we didn't shoot though. Honestly, it could have gone a lot worse if we did. Let's head back to the border, pay them this, and then hopefully be on good terms. I'll see you guys once we're back over there. Boom. There they are. Here we go. Well, you're a man of your word. Me I am a man of my word. I told you. When it comes to <laughs> dealings, I'm a man of my word. Oh, okay. uh, now who am I giving this to? You can give it to the tallish man right here. All right. Hey, yeah, man, why the fuck did oh. you walk oh, in Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Wrong person, wrong person. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. When he said the tallest person, oh. he meant fucking me. You know, I got eyes, I guess. amigo. I'm sorry. He was, he was on an incline. Yeah, I'll yeah, that's what it was. And there you go. Okay. I go to the next do you got? <laughs> do you come by many of these ammunition? Oh. Maybe next time instead of us taking it for uh, your <laughs> sins, uh, we can buy it. Uh, not too often, but I do get them here and there. I still do have a little left over. Okay. Well. Take your hat off. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. Take your hat off, man. <laughs> Smile. Queso. 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 <laughs> Boy, the end is Spanish. It's good. Yeah. Hola, me amo as a Zaville. E2. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, me habla un, un uh, poco espanol. What the hell did you say about my mama? Uh. <laughs> what would you be willing to pay for the M if I can get some more? What are you trying to extort me? No, sir. No, sir. Um, I don't know. Just come, back with, nice. come back with a, whatever price you think is fair. And okay. Uh, oh wait, I gotta be more. I still got it in my notepad. 
okay. We also, uh... I told him the prices I paid for him. How would you, uh... How would you feel about a job? What kind of job? Because <clears throat> I need well, money, say, so... Yeah, you say you travel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I travel uh, everywhere. I pay okay. well. Okay. You, uh, you hear of a place called, uh, New Moscow? New Moscow. Okay, you might know it's... You might know it's called Roscoe. Oh, I do know. Uh, yeah, well, now it's called New Moscow, apparently. Okay. The cold land, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh... <clears throat> If you if you find any information up there about uh the possible wrongdoings to where Mexico, um, or just anyone talking bad about us, it, just if you're you know on your travels if you're up there. Okay, uh, I actually do go up there quite a bit for hunting. Okay, look, I, okay, right. I think we're done torturing. Get you. It, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Next time, you know, leave a note when you come in. Just if we're not. I here. will. I will. No, I've learned my lesson. Trust me. Deal. All right, let's get the hell out of Mexico. Okay, we're staying out of Mexico for a little bit. Okay, so we also did kind of set up a little bit of a trade relation with the uh, the ammo. We did a little bit of a sneaky deal there. So we might be able to supply them with ammo in the future without them knowing we're actually a, an ammo dealer from the supplier. So, you know, I want to give myself a little pat on the back for that one. But uh, yeah, we, 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 we lived through our little Mexico mishap. Obviously, uh, it didn't go exactly as planned. I mean, that was that was pretty obvious from what we just saw. But uh, I think that's going to be about it for now. Now, we are going to need to make a boatload of money and need to figure all this out uh, because that Mex Mexico mission is obviously a little bit uh, more guarded than we thought. Uh, we also did stay in that little house for a long time. So if we are going to try and do it sneakily again, I don't even, I don't, dude, we just can't do it that sneakily. It just did not work out. I, we're just going to have to figure out these coordinates and then probably go from there because that will give us hopefully a way to get into Mexico without too much trouble. So yeah, we're going to try and do that. Uh, we're going to need to make a lot of money in the next video, possibly start selling to the Mexicans. Although as we've seen, uh, they're a little temperamental, so it's a little risky selling to them. But at this point, we're pretty down bad and we need quite a lot of money. And that might be our way to do it, even though we already had quite a couple problems with them. But we could do is uh come back in a day or two uh say we bought it from someone and hopefully if we do this dealing at the border we can tell them that obviously we made plan oh my okay just uh just a wolf chilling nothing to see here but i think it's about it for this episode again in the next one we are going to make money hopefully try and figure out the mexico stuff again figure out where the secret entrance is and quite a whole lot more hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and our unfortunate luck and if you did as always make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.